was an attempt on his life. He survived the attack, but he had a stroke. I brought him here to Johannesburg. Do we know who was responsible for that? We have our suspicions. No, no. If he lives, you will have to finish what you started. Okay, cut the crap, Jacob. What's going on? I'm Chief Abayomi's son. <coughs> My mother had an affair and... And then there was you. And then there was me. I don't think Jacob would ever forgive me. You and I, we can't be seeing each other right now, okay? Please. So, Are you dumping me? Call it what you want. I will do everything to protect a Biomi Incorporated. Him and his mother are trying to take over a Biomi, and I'm not going to let that happen. Well, she's not getting her hands on my money or my father's. Daddy, what are we going to do about Bola? We're going to do nothing. He will get what he deserves. Well, it was a photo to Senegal. He thinks he can just walk in here after five years and everything will be the same. A word of advice from a friend of your father's. This is the big league. There is no margin for error at all. Of course, which uh, we're from the Sundowns fans. Andile! Yeah, yeah. go Three men! He's got support from Tony Alba. Cuts it inside. Sapura, it's 1-1. Oh. It's come from deep in the face. Uh, Jacob. Right. Yeah, and Jamal Zimba. What are you doing here? Look, Jay, um, I'm sorry about your car. Don't you? The native person, eh? Control and composure. And waited yeah. for Tony Alba to go inside the 18 area. And uh, Sapula just kept behind him to wait. We need to talk. There's no we. Okay, we don't need to talk. Please, it's over. <sighs> this is so typical. It's always about you and what you want to do when you want to do it, isn't it? We've gone through this, okay? I... Just go. I'm pregnant. You what? Pregnant. Three months. How long have you known? I found out this morning. I thought you were on the pill. I am. So then what happened? I don't know. The point is, I'm pregnant. Look, you obviously need time to think about yes, this. Yes, I do. Thank you. Well, I just want you to know I'm having this baby with or without you. Hey, <laughs> So when I can go work, me lemon and tool. Got to know what's going on Eh? Hey, bo. Can you take me into your Oh, so me lemon papa. Clara pants. Clara pants. As in, as clara pants is very grand, as trouble. You tell me, you feel what? No, no, grand, grand. Springbok. Springbok. Talk of favor, Springbok. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm 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 going to talk to you. Johannesburg. Where? Ilobo Clinic. He's recovering. Recovering. <laughs> He's gone crazy. He's appointed Jacob as the CEO of a Biome South Africa. And he's still talking about Jacob being his son. Recovering. He's gone mad. 
This was taken a couple of days after she told me she was pregnant with you. I was happy. Her beauty charmed everybody. Presidents, musicians, poets, name them. I couldn't help but fall in love with her. With all due respect, I don't want to hear about my mother's wild years. You surprise me, Jacob. For a clever man like you, you're very ignorant of love. I know enough. Enough to fill in the gaps, anyway. Your novelist, Holly Schreiner, speaks of two loves. One that begins in the head and goes to the heart and lasts forever. And another love that blots out wisdom lasts for one hour. But that one hour is worth a whole lifetime. Have you ever felt that kind of love? Once. Well then, think of that love. Maybe you'll be more forgiving of our love. Paula, you know your father. If he sets his mind... He is bewitched. Folake has bewitched him. He's not doing this on his own. Folake has always shown concern for her father. Perhaps this is all it is. Your loyalty is impressive, Mr. Emeka. But I'm afraid you do not see things as they are. My father is dying. Folake knows that once he's gone, she will have little or no influence. So she's doing everything, everything to prevent this. It's no secret that Falake and I, we don't see eye to eye. But what she's doing now threatens the very heart of a biome. It's only right that we all act together to strengthen a biome. As from now, I will be dealing with all a biome business whilst my father is absent. Is that clear? Thank you. Falaka tells me things are looking promising with your nuclear bid. Yes, yes. Then let us plan as if it has been awarded. The South African component still stands as it is, 50%. That's right. Along with Mr. Brand. Prosper Brand's contribution has a French element to it that hasn't been tied down just yet. The French. We know them very well through our oil deals. They flirt with you, and then they disappear. Well, he'll have to find another source. There's still the IDC. What percentage are we talking about? 20%. Well, as I said, a biome will back you. If Brand does not succeed, we will make up the shortfall, and our biome will increase its stake to 60%. I appreciate that, but Brand has been part of this bid for a long time now. So let's put a ceiling on it. Let's give him 48 hours. If the French are serious, they'll bite. If not, they'll run. And where would that leave Brand? Prospero bankrolled this bid, and I brought him in as my partner. I? You're part of our biome now. I, I realize that, but I have a loyalty to him. Yeah, loyalty is a very good quality, but let us quantify that loyalty. On his own, 15%. Big stake if the French are out. Can I suggest a compromise? 20% with the French and 10 without. <laughs> I know Prosper is not going to go for that. If we put in up the cash, we lead the terms. Naturally. Go and talk to your Mr. Brand. Maybe he will rethink his expectations. <sighs> Loyalty is a very good quality, but don't let it make you a pushover.
Hey. Hey. You okay? Yeah, yeah, sort of. The mornings are a bit rough. You? Look, um, I know this is not something either of us wanted. Certainly not something we planned for. Okay, wait. I think you should speak for yourself here. I know what I want. You need to tell me what you've decided. Jacob, I'm carrying this baby, okay? I need to make decisions now, not sometime in the future. Now. I was in the middle of trying to, to say that. I think we could work it out. Look, I don't want to be one of those guys that, that send money and hope you'll raise the kid. It's my child, I want to be the father. Okay. So where does that leave me? I thought we could take a shot at being together. Okay, but listen, Jay, if, if we're going to go back together, things can't be the way they used to be. I need to know that you want this. I don't want to be the woman that you sleep with every now and then. I, I want more. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, wait. I know I should be getting stuff for the baby, but I was just paging through and I came across this bag. It got me. I have to have it. <laughs> I mean, look at that. You can't be serious. 10%. Only if the French don't come in. But you are confident they will, right? Yes. The Abayomis are the heavy hitters in this bouquet. If they're putting up more cash, of course they're gonna want a bigger stake. What do you want me to say? So from now on, I have to realize that when I'm dealing with you, I'm dealing with the Abayomis, right? I think you know my position. Jacob, This is bad timing. Ted. Members of Luyanda's MK unit, Bafunukenza Memorial, Kuzabane Anveli. Nini? Next week. Dana. I'll be there. There's more. What? Bafuna wins a tribute, Kaluyand. I hope you said no. Dana. Lento important whom? Important personally, not politically. Abasho Bobam, my patrons, Kabantu be struggle. Mama, you can't ask me to stand and lie for you. You can't do that. Kalu Andi, lengo yunya na kalu yandu. Go Ambrose, otelu kutu yenzelendu. This makes this quick, huh? Some fascist tell me to put out my cigarette. You want to go somewhere else? I don't know. We've ordered drinks. Tiens, is your whiskey here, huh? Bon, Prospero, we've decided not to go with your bid. <clears throat> what made you change your minds? Well, we hear that Jacob Makubu is in bed with the Abayomi family. And? Juju and the men in dresses. They make his bed at home. Look, this doesn't affect this deal. We do not like the Abayomi. No, not at all. 
We had some dealings with them in Lagos, which ended most unfortunately. But I can assure you both that once I'm in on the deal... Prospero, Prospero, we are going to put cash in a competing bid. Gas energy. Very clean, very environmentally friendly. Very cost efficient. Right, well, sorry, I thought we could make some money together. Prospero, wait. Wait, we know that you and uh, Makubu are joined at the wallet. But why don't you join us? You're serious. Well, I got to smoke my cigarette, huh? Think about it, Prospero. What's up? He's still trying to get into your pants. He tried, but um, I just let him dangle. So we, uh, we ditch him later? Of course. You know, I really missed you. suggested about joining us on the gas speed. What about it? We could really use another investor, you know. It's difficult. Are you considering Makubu here? Yes, I know. What sort of numbers would we be looking at? Oh, 20%, something like that. Oh. I'd really love you to be on board. Nuclear bid is one of two shortlisted. Yeah, along with the gas bid. Yeah. You knew that? Yes, I needed to tell you the French are in bed with the gas people. Oh, yeah? And I'm sleeping with them. What exactly does that mean? They asked me to join them. And what'd you say? I'm going with them. Um, Pross, I'm a little too shocked here, man. Look, I was going to tell you, of course. It's just it happened kind of quickly. Last night, in fact. I thought your heart was in this bed. Jacob, I had to make a hard decision. But the offer the French made me was far better than yours. I see. Uh, it's business. Uh, it's not personal. Yeah, no, hey, of course. And your other good news? Well, I want to ask you to be my best man. <laughs> You're actually going to marry her.
Years. Still can't believe how much I'm moved by your music. <laughs> you were happy with him, weren't you? I was in Gaza in two banana. In two years, I was in Gaza yet. Mama, I came to apologize. Couldn't have been easy. Namda, namda, At least you have excellent taste in men. Ne phone gumba? Oban. Yeah, no chief abaya. I know he wants to see you. Ndana, zindo zakdala ezo. Jacob, Three months now. From DC. Well, um, by Paris, and um, with the foreign department. Okay. And you're here for? Oh, good. I hope. <laughs> we should hook up. Um, uh, catch up. Um, I mean, it's been what? <laughs> anyway, congratulations on being shortlisted. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you back at the table. Where do you know him from? We met in Paris, and we're engaged. Oh my God, um, really? Yes, <laughs> why the shock? Oh, uh, no, no reason, no reason. Uh, I mean, congratulations. Thank you. Um, I'm getting married too, actually. Really? Yes, yes. To who? Uh, Lira Tumulev. You don't know her. No. no. Oh, talk about uh, timing. Timing. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... You take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Some ideas for the venue. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm My first choice is the Michelangelo. They've got some great function rooms there. I was thinking something a little more intimate. Meaning something small. Uh, meaning something like Prospero's house. You know, your friends, family. Prospero's house, Jay. This is like a big day for me. 
course it is. Okay, so you just want a quick hit, minimal fuzz, over and done with. No, I just don't want to do the social pages. Like I said, something intimate. There's no point in arguing about this, is there? No, that's not fair. Not fair? Come on, Jerry. Okay, well, can I at least have the dress of my choice? Of course you can. Okay, I want something very traditional, you know, but with a modern twist, sexy. I don't think my stomach will be showing yet, so I think I'll get away with it. Roto, my house is yours for the wedding, and I'm sure you're planning something that'll put it onto the cover of Style magazine. <laughs> well, actually, I've had a change of heart. Yeah, I think Jacob and I should have a small wedding, then after the baby, have a special feast. <laughs> so yeah, thanks, Pros. Perfect. So how many shall we cater for? Uh, say 25, 30? Uh, 25. 30. <laughs> I see you're making an effort to stay behind the scenes here. Ah, uh, weddings aren't my thing. Mine neither. Scott? Please. You aren't working yet, are you? Not yet. I'm taking Jacob's advice. He said something like I should assess the options. Oh, yes? Thanks. I'm working on that. Because seriously, remember I mentioned something about shrinkage? Oh, yeah, one of your factories. Two component plants. We uh, supply Nissan and Toyota. But in the last year, we've lost so much product, we literally have to question the future of the business. And I mean, I've had my security people on it. We've spoken to the unions. But everybody comes back shrugging their shoulders. It's like no one can tell me where the parts are going. And you think I might be able to do something about it? I don't know, but yes, for some reason I do. Uh, <laughs> why? Because I'm a crook? No, no, no. It's... But then why? Well, because you're my friend's brother and you're unemployed and... And yes, maybe I think you've got an eye for this sort of thing. So you're interested? I might be. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll give you two weeks full access. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you 10 grand for anything you find out, but 25 if you come up with a plan to stop it. Incentive? Mm-hmm. Okay, 10 is good. But if I sort out and think, I take 30. <laughs> ah, you're just like your brother. Nah, half brother. Deal? Now let's get back to the serious business. <laughs> My God, you're still as beautiful as ever. Yeah. What about you, me? You don't need to flatter me. We are past that. <laughs> Jacob is a fine young man. You've done so well. Over these years, I've thought about you all on your own. After you, Luanda, what was the point? Enough hurt has been endured by us all. Anyway, enough about me. I'd like you to tell me what have you been up to. Well, you know, as they say, on the way to your beloved, there are no heels. <laughs> <laughs> husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
Tabita. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to be the master of, of your ceremony. Uh, for my friend here, Jacob. Uh, Jacob asked me, ladies and gentlemen, as some of you might know, some of you might know Jacob is in the, is in the oil business. Some of you don't know. Some of you, you shouldn't know. And I know, Jacob, there's also some business dealings in Nigeria. And I understand we have some guests who flew all the way from the capital of Nigeria, uh, Hillbro. <laughs> <laughs> but Jacob, please, you have to do something about the price of petrol, man. It keeps going up and up. and It's so bad now. Taxi drivers were walking people to work the other day. It's really getting out of hand. We're going to start buying cars for cash and paying for petrol in installments. <laughs> so please, man, Jacob, uh, do us a favor. But Jacob, I just want to say to you, you know, I know you're going to get off and fly off to your honeymoon talking dirty during sex. I'm giving you tips. We have 11 official languages. So you can imagine talking dirty during sex. Imagine just in Zulu alone. What's the most romantic thing you want to say in Zulu? I'll say it again. <laughs> Jacob, my friend, enjoy. Thank you very much. You guys dance some more and drink some more. Hey, you done me right? Yeah. Okay. Sharp? Yeah. Okay. You think you're going to be right? Is it fine? Okay. How about right? That's good. When are you right? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> okay. I, uh, I thought you might have come around to see them. Yeah. Bring us, you know. Yeah, good to see you. Well, they'll get to know you. When I get scared to do it. Sure. Mm. Hey, guess what? I'm totally spun. No, man. <laughs> Where is that? Hey, I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm quite curious, right? alright? No, no, no. I'm quite curious. I'm quite curious. I'm prosper. You know, one of the factories are like, I'm going to be able to do it. So, what do you think? I'm going to be able to do it. Well, who better? Yeah, you know, it's, it's an area of my expertise. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I hope it works out for you, Andy. Yeah, I hope so too. You know, for Abandwana, for Mina, for Wena, for Tina Song as a family. Oh, no, no, not in years. Uh -uh. Hey, hey. I know. That's right, that's right. Until then, eh? They got writing. What's up, Bob? What's up, Bob? Oh, yeah. Jacob's little sister. What do you think of his marriage? Obviously, he's ready to settle down, and she's pretty. Yes, yes, she is. And you, Mr. Brand. What about me? You have the look of a career bachelor about you. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the right woman. <laughs> and you're enjoying the wait. Absolutely. Congratulations, Jacob. Thank you. Could you excuse us for a second? I just want to have a word with young Makubu, yeah? Oh, darling, not business. It's the man's wedding. What do you take me for? I just want to share some fatherly advice with the man. <laughs> excuse us, lady. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Uh, now, Jacob, mm. this is a breach of protocol. But, well, since we're celebrating, <sighs> let me tell you this. Yes. The, your bid has been approved by the committee. Uh, the decision was made yesterday, and the formal announcement is going to be made tomorrow. So, congratulations. Oh, thank you. 
Now keep this under your head, right? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. Do you do that? Johannesburg. It seems so. Bola, in your mind, the deed is already done. I know. Make sure it is done. Man cannot be honest with others unless he's true to himself. Please, oh, sir. Uh... What got? This is more than an honor to me to have been asked to officiate at this unveiling. As many of you knew, Luanda Makubu was something of a mentor to me, and thus even before his brave missions as an MK operative. He was a man who inspired, a born leader, a visionary. His exploits became legendary within the ranks of the ANC in exile, and it is fitting Fitting that today in a town previously managed by an exclusively white town council, in a park previously reserved for only whites, that we are unveiling a monument to a man who laid down his life to end racism and injustice. cannot be honest with others unless he is true to himself. These are the words of, of a man I am proud to call my I'm sorry. I've known Luanda Makubu all of my life. And even though I barely met him, I've wept at not having had a chance to talk to him as a man and a father. So today should be an honor I cherish, but it isn't. This is difficult for me because we all consider Luanda Makubu be a hero, a man to emulate, a father who stood head and shoulders above other fathers, a man who fought for what he believed in.
truth. And so today, I will speak the truth. That's what he would expect of me. All of you know me as Luyanda Makubu's son. But as we all know, things are not what they seem in exile. I am in, in fact not Luyanda Makubu's son. might seem inappropriate for an occasion like this, but it's exactly what Luanda Makubu would have done. Even though I'm not his biological son, I, I hold very dear the principles that he lived by. Truth. Luanda was a great man who lived his life bravely. He would expect the same of us. Thank you. 